question you write down the volume of the volume of a gaseous cylinder the volume of a gaseous cylinder containing 10 marble 10 marble at one atmospheric pressure is 1 liter at one atmospheric pressure is 1 liter when the pressure increases by 100% when the pressure increases by 100% the volume becomes 625 ml the volume becomes 625 ml calculate the volume of each marble when the pressure increases by 100% the volume becomes 625 ml calculate the volume of each marble One liter is the volume that the system that you have, uh, the container of that one liter, and then which contains ten marble. So, so, so with the marble is one liter. Yes, total is one liter. See, I think actually you should understand the question. Understanding of like the question is also the one part of the testing. Okay, so no one no one will explain you what the question is. Point is the volume of gas containing 10 marble at one atmospheric pressure is one liter. This is what it is given. Three by eight. Three by eight. Understood. The question is the gas cylinder which contains 10 marble at one atmospheric pressure is one liter. Means the gas cylinder plus 10 marble the volume is the total volume is 10 liter. It is given. One liter. Is given. 25 ml is correct. See, you assume the volume of one marble that is V. So what is the volume of 10 marble? 10 feet. The volume that is available, that is the volume of gas. So the point is, yeah, if you have 1000 liter of this container, if you have, right, 1000 liter of this container you have, and in this 1000 liter, suppose 200 liter is occupied by some solid object which you kept into this container. 200 liter is occupied. Means what is the available volume? 1000 minus 200. Means this volume which is available, in this volume only the gases will be there. So you need to find out the volume which is available for the gaseous molecule. And then you can apply PV is equals to P1, V1 is equals to P2, P2. Because that is applicable only for gaseous system. Right? So in the question it is given 1 liter of container you have, which is 1000 ml. Right? And in this 10 marble is present. Volume occupied by one mar marble it is B suppose. So the volume of the gaseous molecules will be 1000 ml minus 10 V. This is V1. Pressure is given one atmospheric. P2 is what? P2 is 100% increase. That will be what? Initially it is 1. It becomes then 2. Because 100% increase is there. So V is the volume of one marble. So the volume available for the gaseous molecules, V1 is equals to 1000 minus 10 V into ml. T1 is given in the question, that is 1 atmospheric. P2 now increased by 100%, so it becomes 2 atmospheric. D2 will be what? The volume becomes 625 <coughs> minus 10 V. No, you can apply. 625 ml is why I am taking it. Okay. Now you can apply P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2. So 1000 minus 10V is equals to 2 into 625 minus 10V. It's all this you get the volume of each marble. We are just calculating first the volume which is available for the gaseous molecule. In that volume we are applying P1 V1 is equals to Understood? What is the value? V here? 25 ml. Volume of each one. 25 ml. Next write down Charles' law. 
What is Charles' law? At constant pressure, for a given uh, amount of gas, for a given amount of gas, at constant pressure, the volume is directly proportional to temperature. The volume occupied by the gas is directly proportional to temperature. When you remove this proportionality sign, we'll get V is equals to KT, where K is what? When you compare this with uh, the P is equals to MRT equation, K is a function of pressure, and we can also say K is inversely proportional to K is inversely proportional to pressure. So when you draw the graph of V and T, V and T, so again you'll get a straight line at different different pressure, P1, P2, P3. If I ask you what is the relation or order of P1, P2 and P3, what is the answer tell me? P3, P3. P3 is maximum. Yeah. Why P3 is maximum? See, slope is K, right? Slope is minimum here. Then maximum in case of P1. Right? So when the slope is maximum K, pressure will be what? Minimum because K and P are inversely proportional. The slope is maximum here, the pressure will be minimum order. Or again, you can draw a line, a straight line, and then also you can come. Okay. Log T and log V graph is what? Can you tell me log T and log V graph? Log of what? Uh, <laughs> Log V and log T. Log is log base E or log base 10. Anything you make, nature of the graph. See, whenever you have to draw a graph like this, right, whatever y and x axis we have, you try to draw a relation first in between the y and x axis. Like we have log V and log T, we have the relation of V and T, take log both sides. What do you get? Log V is equals to log T plus. No, no, it's no, it's log KT, right? Log T plus log T, right? No, I thought So log V is Y, right? This is X and this is C. So y is equals to MX plus C, where M is equals to 1, right? Log V is Y here, Y axis is log V, right? X axis is what? Log T, so log T is X, log V is Y, and log K is constant C. K is a constant, right? Because I have taken this log V and log T. You can take log T here also, log V here also. I have taken log V as Y axis, no? Y axis at log T. No, this is in the form of this. No, why is the x axis? C is y in the sum. It means it is specified. It is in the form of y is also x plus y. This this one, yeah. Because the axis is log V and log C. Who the who question of this matter? Of course, they log V and log T. How do we draw the graph of this? A straight line with positive slope, right? Yeah. So it will be like this positive y, y positive y intercept. So this will be like this. Okay. Ah, if you draw like this, okay, it's fine. If it passes through, if it is passes through, then why does it be zero in here? 
Yes, because the slope is 1. This angle is 45 degrees. Sometimes what happens, they'll give you this, uh, uh, this, this distance they'll give you in the graph. They'll mention it. Right. And you need to write down the expression for B and D. Right. So this gives you log K. Right. This distance is what? Log K. So from here you can find out K and then you can find out the equation of B and D. And then suppose at a given volume, what temperature we have to find out that we can substitute there and find out T. Understood this? Right. So basic uh, principle is what? Whenever you have to, you know, compare or draw a graph, you just find out the relation of the y-axis, the variable which is there in y-axis and x-axis. Right. Depending upon the nature of the, uh, like, the equation that you get, you can draw the graph. Okay. And mostly in chemistry, you'll get a straight line only. Most, in the most of the cases, 99 percent of the cases, you'll get a straight line. Only. Okay. So that is what is required. Okay. One relation you write down here, the relation of volume and temperature. This is uh, you won't uh, use this in solving numericals, but I'll just give you one definition here. You see, Vt volume at any temperature T, we can write this as V O or V naught, also we call it as plus T divided by 273. Right? Now this VO is the volume at 0 degrees Celsius, volume at 0 degrees Celsius, this volume at, volume at temperature T degrees Celsius, right. So when the temperature is minus 273 or better we write this as capital T, right. It is in degrees Celsius. Now if this temperature you take minus 273 degrees Celsius minus 273 degrees Celsius, the Vt will be what? Vt will be 0, which is theoretical, right? It means the volume occupied by the gaseous molecules at this temperature will be what? 0, right? This temperature, we call it as absolute 0 temperature. Very difficult. No, it's, it's not possible. So it's impossible. Yeah. It's very yeah. touch. If you can go very no, close. Ha, we can say, but I cannot say it's impossible because nothing is impossible. So whatever is good. So if you say impossible, I won't say impossible, very difficult to achieve. So you can say, what are they like going? Minus 273 is good. You cannot touch at point one five. You cannot make it absolutely zero. Ha, that, that's, no, we lost the volume. So yes, that's, that's why I said that it's a theoretical thing. That's what I said. Because anything, if it is there, any molecules, any size, they will occupy some volume. So, volume cannot. Is the 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 no, 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 not like that. Actually, you know, in absolute zero temperature means what? This temperature is very low. You are not increasing the temperature. The temperature is decreasing, right? The temperature is very low. So, kinetic energy will be almost zero in that case. Actually, the definition of absolute zero temperature is what? It is a temperature at which all kind of motion of the molecule freezes. Even vibration motion also not. Sir, the temperature is zero. Sir, the temperature is zero. Sir, the temperature No, that we can find out. But this temperature, the definition of this is what? That all kind of motion freezes at this temperature for the molecules. That's why this is very you know, difficult to achieve this temperature. You cannot achieve this temperature and you cannot freeze all kind of motion. Translation motion you can freeze, but vibration motion you cannot freeze. It's very difficult to freeze. So it's a theoretical thing. Practically we cannot achieve. It's a okay. so why why is theoretical if you achieve this temperature, the electron. No, we are talking about theoretical. Theoretical. Practically we cannot do so. How do we know the position of the electron? So both and steam. But that is a very high temperature. 
different states of matter, all those plasma and bosons say it is possible at very high temperature. The other states of matter you are talking about, right? Like plasma and bosons and bosons. So what is yeah, the, all those plasma things even exist that, you know, when the temperature is um, like at the surface of the sun that we have, till date we have this uh, discussion, that near the surface of the sun temperature is very high. Under those circumstances, the plasma and both inside a uh, set of matter, they exist. Different isotopes of hydrogen. So, how is the high? Both angles, low temperature. Is it low Very low Wait, sir. Sir, sir, sir. So, so like, when you measure temperature, you're essentially measuring the kinetic energy of the body. We can. Right? Huh. So, so, what is that velocity? Oh, that we discuss. Oh, bring him on. So, 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 like, three types of velocity for gaseous molecules. Yes, most probably we are so, so because like if, if I'm measuring that velocity, I can prove why you can never achieve that. Because if you want to have zero velocity, that means that the velocity of everything has to be zero. So that it everything can't means what? Every molecule. Ev everything, the entire universe has to have zero velocity. So that I can have zero relative. No, 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 no. The entire universe has no velocity. That means that it has no velocity relative to anything. And to do that, I need to convert all of this kinetic energy into potential, or I have to destroy the kinetic energy. Yes. Since I can't destroy it, it into potential. potential. So now to convert it into potential, I need some machine. And that machine in itself needs more energy. So there needs to be a machine to convert that machine's energy to potential energy. How many machines you want? You need infinite machines. That's all. And you can't. That, yeah, that's why so you yeah. still have it. Right, that's all you can take. But the point is, any molecules that you have, right, this molecule, they always have vibrational motion in them. Suppose rotation motion you can control, but translation motion you can control, but vibration motion is very difficult to control because the energy is. Vibration motion is what across one point, the molecule keeps on vibrating. So that's all the point of making down the Yes, yes. So, so that's. Has it approached the zero energy? The definition of absolute zero temperature is what? It is the temperature at which all kind of motion of the molecule freezes. Okay, completely is That is practically not possible. And how we are getting this? At this temperature is assumed to be zero, which is again practically not possible. So if any molecules are there, I can occupy Okay.